6.50, time for the morning sprint as we get your day started. We begin in Madison this morning as today is the deadline to apply for the 2020 spring election. One older person and three school board seats are up for a vote. Special education is expected to play a big role in this election. Just last month, the board approved the purchase of a building to house special needs programs. Opponents say they fear the students will be segregated from their peers. Later today, we may get a final say in whether sporting events will be allowed at night on the Edgewood campus. This says the full city council is set to vote on it. A city attorney says even though the master plan was upheld by the Madison Plan Commission, the city council still has the final say. If the master plan stays in place, the pending lawsuit from Edgewood would likely move forward. The Wisconsin legislature is asking a federal court to dismiss a lawsuit that's looking to prevent more than 200,000 voters from being purged from the rolls. The legislature's attorneys are asking the court to at least put the lawsuit on hold while a separate case makes its way through state courts. Both cases are being closely watched heading into the 2020 elections. State Republican lawmakers are working to make English the official language in Wisconsin. The proposal would not only make it the official language, but also require all state and local governments to write all their documents in English. The senators are now looking for co-sponsors for the bill, which says English proficiency is vital to American society. And our forecast today starts with a few flurries in between Madison and the Dells this morning. Some of those may not actually be hitting the ground though this morning. Little to no accumulation is expected, even with a chance for flurries returning this afternoon. High temperatures today will be in the middle 30s. West winds though will keep wind chills in the 20s. Thank you very much, Hattie. Janesville police say a murder suspect who could be a danger to the public is still on the loose this morning. The department says it hasn't had contact with Corvacy Weaver yet. Officers responded to the shooting early Sunday morning when they found the victim, James Chestnut, lying in the road with a gunshot wound in his back. Chestnut and Corvacy did know each other. Two men are facing charges in connection to a different shooting near Rock County Park. Deputies say one person was hurt in the December 7th shooting near Prairie Knoll Park in the town of Rock. Ronald Hicks was arrested on suspicion of being a party to the crime and recklessly endangering safety. Meanwhile, Virgil Lee Tay Jr. was arrested by Chicago police on a felony arrest warrant for attempted first degree intentional homicide. Four teenagers are being held at the juvenile reception center this morning after being caught in a stolen SUV Sunday. Madison police first saw the car was speeding on the West Belt Line and didn't chase after it, but did spot it again on Raymond Road. The 15 year old driving the car was arrested for driving it without the owner's consent, fleeing and eluding police. Two other boys are facing tentative charges as passengers in that stolen car. Police say they've made an arrest in connection to a bomb threat at a county courthouse in Wisconsin. Deputies in Waukesha say an anonymous person called police and a Milwaukee TV station Monday to say five bombs were going to explode at the courthouse. It was closed and searched, but no bombs were found. Officials won't confirm if the person arrested is the person of interest they had been looking for. The man accused of throwing acid onto a Latino man's face in Milwaukee is considered competent to stand trial. Clifton Blackwell is being charged with first degree reckless injury in the attack, which is being prosecuted as a hate crime. Blackwell is due back in court later this month. Several earthquakes are shaking Puerto Rico this morning, the most significant one being a 6.4 magnitude. This comes less than 24 hours after the island was hit by two smaller earthquakes yesterday. Local journalists are reporting damage in two cities, including collapsed homes and bridges and widespread power outages. All of this has prompted Puerto Rico's governor to cancel work for the day. Nearly 150 brush fires are still burning across Australia, and only half of those are considered contained. So far, an area twice the size of Maryland has burned in those ongoing brush fires. At least 24 people have been killed. Nearly 2,000 homes are destroyed. Australia's Prime Minister says the fires could keep burning for the next two months. Breaking just within the last few minutes, Iran says at least 40 people are dead and more than 200 injured after a stampede happened during the funeral procession for an Iranian general killed by a U.S. airstrike. It comes as the leader of Iran's Revolutionary Guard is threatening to, quote, set ablaze country support by the U.S. American ships in the Middle East are also being warned this morning of potential threats. John Bolton, the president's former national security advisor, now says he will testify in a Senate impeachment trial if he's subpoenaed. It's a major change of heart from Bolton, who was a no-show during the House impeachment inquiry. Bolton says he's willing to reject a presidential directive not to testify.
testify if it comes to that. Los Angeles prosecutors are now bringing new sexual assault charges against movie mogul, movie mogul Harvey Weinstein. He's being charged with raping one woman and sexually assaulting another in separate incidents back in 2013. This comes as Weinstein's criminal trial begins in New York City, where he's facing two other charges for sexually assaulting two women. Borden Dairy Company is now the second major milk producer to file for bankruptcy in the last two months. The company says it has been hurt by a drop in overall milk consumption and can no longer afford its debt load and pension obligations. The Dallas-based dairy employs 3,300 people. It's unclear whether the company will stay in business long term or liquidate. 656 is your time this morning and Stacy K has a final look at your first alert traffic. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. There may still be a disabled vehicle on the westbound Beltline right after Verona. The right shoulder is blocked and may be causing a delay in that area. Also seeing slowdowns between Stoughton and West Broadway. Inbound John Nolan starting to tap the brakes at the Rim Rock and North Shore Drive intersections as you head into downtown. And other main routes heading into the city, they are moving along at the posted speeds, no crashes or delays. With your first alert traffic, I'm Stacy K. Thank you, Stacy. What a beautiful shot from the Edgewater Sky Cam this morning. Sunrise underway here in southern Wisconsin. It's not completely cloudy, so we'll be able to see that sunrise this morning. A few flurries are possible early today and then again later on. In between, though, look for some sunshine. High temperatures will be in the middle 30s. There will be a wind chill factor today, though, with those wind chills staying in the 20s right through the afternoon. Overall, the weather pattern is going to turn more active as we head through the end of the week into the upcoming weekend and even next week we have some rain in the forecast on Thursday with windy and relatively warm conditions it cools down and then it looks like chances for snow nearly every day heading into next week all right Hattie thank you and thanks so much for joining us this morning folks take some time for your family on this Tuesday have a great day and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning